Hey guys, so, um, you know, I'm sorry for not posting for a while, um, actually, a lot of my unboxings have been deleted, um, kind of let my iPhone delete certain videos when space was too low, so, yeah, that's what happened, but, it's fine, I still can do some, I can actually show you guys my collection so far, since I, um, uh, my Kaguya Luna and... Keys and I videos got erased, but yeah, since this is probably gonna be like the fourth video you've actually seen from me, I got two Nendoroids. I pre ordered these and they came today, so I started purchasing all my Nendoroids, the ones that I really want through DHL, just because they do come here in like a day, which is pretty great. Um, but yeah, I have Kuaruko, uh, Kaoruko, uh, Moeda from Comic Girls, and I have Satania from Gabriel Dropout. Satania is gonna be saved for last because she is the best. And Comic Girls, um, I am looking to finish up this anime, but it's pretty good from what I've seen. Um, so yeah, let's put Satania to the side. I won't make this a two-parter. I'll just connect. I'll just combine them both. I feel like that's the better way to do this. But yeah, here's the box of her. She's Nendoroid number nine forty-eight. Um, you know. It looks pretty similar to Satania's box, actually, if I'm being honest. Um, actually, this is what I use to open my um, my packages, um, which is that box right there. I just use this little, like, dagger that I have. It's pretty good to open things up with. Put that away. But yeah, they have very similar boxes, color scheme-wise. Yeah, here's a side view of the box back view and under view here's the other side view probably gonna do this face and top view um so all right i'll open it up we'll see what's inside and you know i'll show you all the parts that come with it all right we're back here is what's inside the box so this one comes with two face plates which is good um, the one thing I did like about the Kaguya Luna and Kizuna Eye video that I cannot show you anymore is that she they both came with three face plates, which was great. That was amazing. I love that because I love the face plates most of all. Well, and then there's like the poses are nice, but like what I love the most is the expressions and the faces that they can give off. I mean, yeah, we kind of get rid of the quality of the eyes here, but you know it doesn't really matter because these are great faces. Um, but you get standard stuff, you know, inside the in the box you get a the manual in case you need to find out what certain parts go to. Mm, cat um holding cat here's her drawing tablet her drawing stylus um x arm on the other side we have once again the um the the stand taped to the side underneath which is you know which is pretty smart because i actually also had an isabel that i got um that one i couldn't make a video either because you know it got deleted and I noticed, now I understand why people are like so happy that these boxes are so compact. Because Isabel's box is so huge. Um, then again, you know, it kind of gets rid of the, you know, the idea of putting a lot of accessories in them. But still, I kind of like how compact it is. It kind of lets all these boxes stay in one place. Um, and, you know, it's going to really help out when I need to pack these up and move them back to my house. Or maybe my apartment if I actually get one over the summer. Because I can just kind of get one big box and I can just kind of all lay them out. And they're all, you know, similar size so I can, cut, you know, accurately space them out and everything. But yeah, um, let me set her up. Let me pose her. And we'll have a look at how she looks like. Alright, and this is her pose. I put her in this facial expression. I gave her her digital stylus and her tablet. And here she is, drawing. Also, one thing that I have started to do is kind of like extend them out of the stand for their um, their posing. I just think that's kind of a bit better. That might be a bit too far out, so I might put the peg actually a bit more in. But, you know, I'm glad I, with how this came out. Some of the things are loose. The arm it kind of is loose, but, you know, these are for posing. These aren't exactly for, like, constant adjusting the movement. So I don't really see a problem with that. The only thing that might be annoying is when I clean her. When I dust her off, um, the arm might come off now and then, and I just need to pop it back in, but it's fine. Um, there were some smudges, or there was a speck of, like, paint somewhere on her head. 
I'm pretty sure that's from like the factory or something, but like it's fine. Um, it's like somewhere there. I don't think the camera can pick it up, but there's like a black dot. Um, and then sometimes, you know, you know, I like to wear gloves sometimes when I handle these just because I don't want my skin oils. Oh my god, sorry about that. Um, I did not mean for that to cut off, but um, what I was saying is, yeah, I like to wear gloves. I just don't have any with me, but yeah, everything looks great. Um, so much detail in this figurine. I like it. Glad this one's added to my collection. Now on to Satania. Alright guys, like I said, here's Satania. Hopefully the video does not cut out this time. Um, so yeah, here, let's see what we got. Got her laughing as the, um, initial image. We got the side. We got the back. The other side. Interesting how the dog gets one window. Top. Bottom. Um, so yeah. Let me just get ready, open her up, and then, you know, we'll look inside. Alright, here she is. As usual, two face plates per, um, thing. Here she is. I might order another one of her. Just one in the box, so one to actually keep posing. Dog. Um, melon pawn, melon pawn. Uh, peg. I don't know what that's for, I might look in the manual for that. Two extra arms, not extra arms, but two more arms, two more arms, the side, extra neck joint, um, stand, and this manual, and one thing I noticed in this manual, right away it tells you how to hold the melon pawn in its wrapper. Did not know if it does that for every manual, because there are certain things that I don't know how to hold with these Nendoroid poses, so I might start looking at the manuals again a bit more. But yeah, I will actually, you know, set her up. I will pose her. And we will check her out. Um, I don't know which face I'm going to do. I might just do her standard laughing face. The best face in my... my the, be ugh, the best face in my opinion. Alright, let's All right, you out. guys. Here she is. The one and only Satanakia. Anyways, let's look at her, you know. she. I just gave her the standard pose. Look at her bat bow. Great addition. I think it's one of the best things. Um, but yeah, a lot of people don't like these Nendoroids from Fine Clover. Um, I feel like they say that there's kind of, it's kind of drowned out. Yeah, drowned out the color. I think it looks nice. Um, her face still has a lot of detail. I like how they added her um, her smugness in there. The hair on in real life kind of looks a bit brighter, actually, than in the camera. But, you know, everything's good. Um, once again, I kind of have this pose going on dog that steals her melon pawn in the back um shoes on the ground um but yeah this is this is pretty great this is definitely gonna be the um the thumbnail picture looks great um yeah so this is it for the holidays um buying spree of nendoroids i guess i'll see you guys in like june or something goodbye